All right, so despite already having shot some video that I'm actually scrapping right now, for at least for the time being, the first thing we're going to do today is attack that washer bottle. Now, it appears that you have to get the air cleaner box out in order to do that. And looks like somebody already removed this one bolt here. Millimeter because that looks like a 10 millimeter. There's a 10 millimeter bolt. Actually, maybe that's an 8 millimeter. Okay. Maybe it's an 8 millimeter. <laughs> we'll find out right now. And, uh, and it is, in fact, an 8 millimeter. Got this. I think today I'm going to be using a lot of power tools because I really don't feel like I'm going to be here all day working on this thing. Now, unfortunately, I can't tell you what size bolt that front one is because it was already removed long before I got the vehicle. And this will come out, which I want to clean out anyway. Alright. So we're going to set that aside. And now, the neck to the... Okay, so here's part of the air cleaner assembly here, which is actually... But we'll just set that aside for right now. And uh, really, they have one of those red clips on this one too. Anyway, Jesus. I I love you, Chrysler. Or maybe I really don't. Like, okay, where's that screwdriver? <laughs> All right. So we're going to apparently shoot the red clip across the parking lot because I think this is a sensor. It tells us how much fluid is in it. did find the clip and then let me go get the uh, new washer bottle and by new I mean junkyard now this one they had uh, in some ways I'm glad they did but they just you know chopped chopped the hardest apart but I didn't realize that there was as much broken on on our unit as there is and this one's going to give me more trouble probably because I'm I was going the other way with it before, and I just broke the uh, clip off of that. If need be, I'll just take. Need be, I'll just take our old sensor and uh, put it in there. Let me fight with this for a few minutes, and then oh, here we go. I'm dumping uh, blue water all over my foot now. I got the uh, clip. Dumping uh, water fluid all over me. <laughs> oh man! I need to get this uh, clip out. Give me, give me a couple minutes. I'm actually probably just gonna get take this harness off of here, change the uh, camera position around, and I'll get back to you in a few minutes. All right. So I'm not entirely sure how most of this goes, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, so I can pull these hoses off because they cut these hoses, which isn't a big deal, like at all. All right, so this one's going to give me a little bit of a hassle. If need be, I'll go buy a blade, which I probably should have done anyway. Um, I don't want to break this pump housing because the uh, pump is on the old one. So what we're going to do is we're going to fish it up through. Uh, this one. Okay, so there's another bolt I got to take out. Uh, I didn't realize. So like I said, I've never really had one of these vans this far apart. Um, 
But here's what we're gonna do. Sorry. Oh, there's another bolt up here apparently. Right, so what we have to try to do is blindly fish this up into here while also keeping this like so I'm going to put one of these bolts back in okay so that's actually supposed to go down like that I think on the day I'm filming this the uh, vlog comes out from when I got the new tires. Give you some perspective of the timeline going on here. On. Okay, so I see where it's supposed to bolt to up top. And, uh,. I probably should have got my six inch extension. But these are really coarse thread screws, so that doesn't really matter. Right now I'm hitting the uh, hit, hitting the pump, which I don't like. So for the purposes of this video. This is installed, well actually I need to, uh, I need to pull this down, pull that old piece out of it, and pull that out, put that into the pump. Now where did my wire harness go? I probably failed a little bit on that. Oh wow, that's uh... So the... I may end up having to use the new plug on the one. Where did I put that? Hopefully I can get this old plug out with the tools I have here. I wish I had some needle nose with me. Shoot. Well, that's not good. yet is I don't even have okay well I got I'm gonna have to find a way to reapply refix that now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean off some stuff we're gonna pour some washer fluid in there because I do have some brand new washer fluid for it and uh, oh, okay I see where the other fold is mounted so I'm gonna actually bring you up there first and then do that I hope you realize that one of the things, oh shoot, the bolt's actually on this side. I hope you realize that one of the things I'm absolutely loving about this project is I'm learning just as much as you are. And um, I love learning new things, especially when it comes to vehicles. Because, well, I don't know if there's really a because, probably just because I like to. Um, so then all we gotta do is bring this guy around town. Yeah, I'm gonna get the longer extension. Longer extensions cause torque loss, but on a bolt like this, I'm not worried about torque loss. 
then and since I had the battery disconnected I'm not really worried about hitting anything here and this side of the vehicle was already taken apart I think it goes without saying you have to remove at least the front bumper possibly the fender to change this out and now I have some rain x washer fluid why did I like it any other reason not really let's see how much this baby holds Dang, this wasn't even a full gallon. I mean, well, this wasn't really a full gallon, but it was close. Dang. All right, so what we're gonna do is move this stuff off the windshield. I may it. Move this stuff off the windshield. I'm probably gonna start it just because I can. that I just successfully washed the windshield with the wipers now I want to disconnect this battery one more time because I do need the battery disconnected for some of the stuff some of the other videos I'm going to be filming today so I'm going to put the air box back together and I'll talk to you on the next video thank you for watching have a blessed day and don't forget to like comment and subscribe